Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today we are joined with all of our lovely supporters behind me, and we'll be playing Equivalent Skies on our new Equivalent Skies subserver. And yes, I'm going to be playing on it as well. Everybody, say hi. hi. So just to address the question that I'm probably going to get right off the bat is how do I join the server? And you can find all the links down in the description below. You can either sub on Twitch, which is one way, or you can also uh, become a Patreon. And all those, like I said, links are down below. And then from there, you join the Discord, and all of the info is in the FAQ channel on the Discord. That'll explain everything. So, anyways, guys, let's get on with the video. Ah, so, here we are in a fresh new Skyblock. That's right, with a quest book. So, Equivalent Skies is our quest book. And uh, we can probably jump right into the progression line of this. And so here we're met with the book that will guide us through the progression line of the pack and most of its, uh, most of it on its own single page. So, um, basically, welcome to Equivalent Skies. It's the beginning of your journey towards becoming an alchemist of equivalence. Well, actually, forget that. This is an expert pack based on Project E, where your goal is to automate MK7 stuff. So. Go ahead and accept our quest. And I guess we're going to be moving on. So detect it. It's detected. And thus we get to move on. So it's probably best that we follow along with these quest lines. Because I've always found in expert quest packs, when you deviate or when I try to deviate from what I should be doing, I end up failing terribly. Um, but this also goes on to tell you, I've already read this. It goes to tell you um, a little bit about um, how your... Project E stuff works and that you can use your stuff as a tablet. I'm going to go over that as well. Um, but anyways, you, you see here water is ice. That is a very easy thing to do. Um, make a mob farm is something we're going to have to do down, down the road. We have our basic tools, which will get us some tinker stuff, which we're going to worry about that here in a second. Then we have it's alive, which is going to get us into Batania and a sapling, which is going to be the first thing that we probably do. You probably don't have to do these things in order, but I recommend doing it probably now. So what do we need to do here? Well, we have nothing. We have no EMC, but we have a Tome of Knowledge that has 500 EMC. We'll throw that bad boy in there and we're going to get everything started. So a few things we don't need right off the bat is the Dynamics of Integration or Integrated Dynamics book. We don't really need that right now. And we don't need the Watch of Flowing Time. Now, if you were playing on single player, you could use the Watch of Flowing Time to speed up the time of day uh, to make night go by faster. For us, we're not going to have that benefit um, because we are on a server. We do not use the watch flowing time because it is kind of um, not the greatest thing for servers. <laughs> Let's just put it that way later on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to leave that away. And then, of course, we have our quest book. Now, in the quest book, I can go into the controls. My controls are a little messed up, but we can go into the quest. And I always set mine to Z. So the quest book is set to Z. And another thing I would, I would recommend you guys probably do is to, to look into Project E, hit Category, and you'll see Projectile down here. Um, you can set this to whatever key you want. I'm going to set it to button 5 for right now uh, on my mouse, but you can set it to whatever key you want. What that's going to let you do is you can shoot... Pro actually, I don't think button 5 actually works. You can go into here and go Projectile, or actually, yeah, Project E, Projectile. I'm going to change it to, I guess, Period for right now. That'll work. Um, but if you hit period or whatever key you set it to, it'll shoot a projectile that'll let you target mobs and you can change mobs. Also, if you're holding the Philosopher's Stone, you can hit C and it'll open up a crafting table for you. So it's a portable crafting table. So yeah, the quest book, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to use Z from this point forward. All right, so we've put our stuff in here. Now we need to search up leaves and wood. So I'm going to go ahead and get some wood. Just your plain old wood. I'm just going to go with the oak planks, and I'm going to take two of those. And then there's some there's some leaves, right? And there's a bunch of different types of leaves, honestly. Uh, we do have, like, slimy leaves. We can't really grow slime trees, so we have to kind of void those out, keep those out of our head. We have mineral leaves, but I'm not quite sure if mineral is a good way to go right off the bat. But this is pretty much all we have, because I don't know is... um. Yeah, I guess mineral, the, even the logs aren't even a part of it. So, what I recommend getting is jungle leaves. Those are probably going to be your best bet. You can take some jungle leaves. 
And I'm going to try and maybe do, I don't know, 18 for now and see how many I can get out of this. We're going to take this and turn this into sticks. Also, I wanted to mention some people complain about chat uh, being visible. So I have it set to about a, the the lowest visibility just so I can still see chat going on. Um, but it, it shouldn't bother you guys too much. So it'll probably just go over your head even knowing chat's there. But it just lets you know we are still on a server. So let's go ahead and take these sticks, open up our Philosopher's Stone. I'm going to go ahead and make a crook. Look at that. And I'm going to use this crook like this. I'm going to surround myself in leaves. And then there's Ore Excavator. And that Ore Excavator uh, is the little grave key underneath your escape key. If you hold that down while mining, um, you will actually be able to break multiple blocks at once. So very worth it. We've, at this point, we've not even really moved. So I need to get a couple more saplings. So leaves. Jungle leaves. I'm going to hope I get one very soon. Hopefully eight more should uh, should get us there. There we go. So we're almost hitting our first night. And unfortunately, there's no way for us to speed up the day until somebody gets a bed or something like that. Um, so we have saplings. We're probably going to need a bone or two. I'm going to go ahead and take two bone out. And let's get some wood or uh, dirt. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and take four dirt out because all we really need right now. And I'm gonna step to the side and I'm gonna place down four dirt to get us started. And I think this is probably gonna be the, the easiest way for us to get a lot of EMC right off the bat. Um, we're gonna hit this a couple times and voila, we have a pretty large tree. Now, I don't want you to just remove the tree just right off the bat because that would be kind of a waste. So we need to break these logs and these logs are going to get us about 32 EMC a piece. And yeah, you don't want to break the vines because we're going to be using the vines here in a little bit. They're really going to help us out. So we're going to kind of do this like zigzaggy pattern going up here. Um, because we're going to work our way into getting some iron. <laughs> That's right, because shears are actually going to be very worth, uh, very much worth it to us. Um, but right now, just having the wood works really well. You could or excavate the wood. Don't get me wrong, you could. But I don't want to ore excavate it just yet because there's a lot of EMC that's stored inside this uh, this little thing right here. So let's just go ahead and get up here. I hope I get enough. I should be able to go go ahead and make a shear. I don't know if, if there's more than just... Uh, looks like there's a stone shear or dark... No, those are dark shears. Um, there are wooden shears that you could make. So oh, I guess the... No, the recipe is disabled. They're just not removed from JEI. So the only shears that I see available are your normal shears and dark steel shears. All the other shears are kind of obsolete. Okay, so we have 11 right now. Let's see if that's enough. I don't know. We'll throw this in here. Is it enough to get two iron out of here? It is. So that leaves with a little bit of EMC, not much. But it should be enough for us to be able to break this down and to grab most of it. And this is gonna be like 60, that's gonna be quite a bit. These are eight a piece. So look at that, just off of that, off of our vines that have grown, we have already produced the same amount that we started with. So I think it's well worth doing that. Now, the next part is gonna be the leaves. And you could say that, okay, you could let them just despawn, but I'm going to go for, but if you break this tree, these guys will start to disappear, like immediately. I mean, it'll be fast, really fast leaf decay. So I really want to get as close as possible so I can break them. Um, and that's just going to help get us a nice starting boost of EMC before we, uh, we move on to anything else. Just a nice, nice boost. Because we're really going to need the building blocks, right? That's what we're going to need. We have to make a mob farm, so we need building blocks for the mob farm and everything else. And I think we should be able to get most of that done within the first episode, for sure. So I need to make some torches since it's kind of dark. So charcoal is not a thing, but coal is. So we'll just grab one coal. And actually, additions is in here, so we could make tiny fuel. I'll drop that. And bam. There we go. We have some tiny torches, right? Tiny torches. <laughs> How cute. And I went ahead and placed some dirt and placed a couple of things of grass. I could have made the whole thing out of grass since they're 
they cost the same anyways. Um, and we also probably need a chest here in a little bit, but I do want to make a furnace. Now a furnace, I did take a look at this furnace right here, and it is a little bit different. Um, it would be under the fast furnace. It's going to be some stone and cobblestone. So we're going to need cobble and we need stone on top of everything. I guess it doesn't matter if it's Tinker's cobble or not. We need a few of it and we also need stone. There we go. Good old fashioned stone. Three of those. That's just going to make one. And of course, hitting C on here opens up this crafting grid. And then we have a furnace. Great. So what do I want to do with this furnace first? Well, grab some coal. As you can see, I have about 24,000 EMC. That's just from trees that I've grown. Um, we're going to take this and get some clay. We're going to take five of those. Throw those in there. Get those cooked up or tiny coal it up. I guess I could do. That way we at least save a little bit on resources. Um, we'll get those cooked up and we're going to need iron. Now... It shouldn't cost us too much, but we're going to get ourselves a hopper. That's going to be for the hopping bonsai. Let's go and grab some wood. And let's see if the recipe's in here that lets us take eight of these out to make a chest. I don't know. It is. Okay, good. I love those convenient recipes. They're so nice. All right, so while this is working, what we're going to be making here is a hopping bonsai. Now, I guess we could probably go ahead and make ourselves a crafting grid, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's also look at food. So, we should have access to uncooked foods, it looks like. Okay, I see uncooked foods. I see eggs. Eggs are 32. So, maybe later on we can get chickens, and an egg farm would actually be a pretty decent uh, early EMC farm as well. Sugarcane would probably be a decent uh, farm going forward. Um, it seems like any of the food is going to cost about the same, about 64. Yeah, including that, because pumpkins, I'm sure, are going to be a little bit more expensive. Apples are 128. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, so we'll probably go with, I don't know, some raw steak. That's going to be the, the best for our, our money that we're going for. We'll throw that there. Let's go ahead and do this. We're fixing to get ourselves like a nice supply automatically. Go ahead and make this. A nice supply of EMC right off the bat. We'll make ourselves a hopping bonsai. And then we can place that directly on top of a chest. So let's say we place a chest right here, place our hopping bonsai, and then we'll place some grass in that because grass is going to be our best option. And I did take a look, and the best option is jungle saplings for the hopper. So, just to kind of take a look here. You can't make any of this. Um, this is going to be limited on the items. You're going to be able to get it from the wood and the, the leaves. That's for most things. Uh, oak, you'll sometimes get apples, which is a kind of a good deal. So, you're kind of in between the oak sapling, which is a 20%, or the jungle sapling which is going to give you cocoa beans, which is pretty much the, the same thing, except for, yeah, I guess I guess that your oak and your jungle are going to be about the, exactly the same. So it's your choice on whichever one you choose. I'm going to just go with the jungle. They're, they're all going to have the same time. It says uh, 30 seconds per sapling. So that's just what we're going to have to deal with. So um, my plan is to just make more of these. Right? Because that's just free EMC. So the more of these that we can make, the less we have to manually take these saplings and grow them and harvest them. Because that's all I've been doing is just taking this, bone milling a few with the bone mill that we have. Right? And then just going from there. And, and I, I seem to gain a, like almost 2,000 EMC every time I do this. Right? And then I just harvest it. Try to grab as many saplings as possible. Sometimes this happens, where I didn't grab everything. Because I let off the key, I think, too soon. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I get get all the supplies down here, sometimes I don't. Enough, enough saplings to replenish. Alright, so, I'm going to let this take place. I'm probably going to make a few more hopping bonsais. 
Of course, I now have some some good food. Um, and we're going to see what we can do uh, when it comes to making a mob farm. So I've started to make just a little bit of a base here, um, just so I have sort of like a base of operations. Now, getting EMC is just going to be a repetitive process as of right now of just either waiting for these to happen, which they're, they're all running the same thing, or I have these planting spots for the two by two um, on our, our trees here, our jungle saplings. So I do need to go ahead and start working on this. We do need to make a stone crook. So I don't remember if it was a uh, stone or cobble. I think I'm thinking it was, it's cobble. And it's like you actually convert the cobble to this, to stone rods, and that makes a stone crook. And then that will auto detect and complete. And then we have right here. Now, it shows that we can complete that. That's done. I was about to say, it looked like it showed you can plant uh, that other stuff on gravel, but I guess not. Uh, okay, so this is kind of opened up a little bit. You see there's a bit more. We've done the bonsais. That's auto-completed for us, thankfully, because we did that. Um, we also need to go ahead and get our basic tools. This is something that I really want to work on. That's not going to take very long. We're going to get in some tinkers, basic tinkers tools. So with our wood... Let's just go ahead and grab some. I want to talk to you guys a little bit too about this. What you can do here is take a actual storage crate, store all your stuff in it, place your storage crate down, such as that, take your crafting station that you could easily make, place it next to it, and then bam, you pretty much have like an early game EMC, or not EMC, early game applied energistic system type thing, where you can technically just, I mean, grab this, let's convert half of these into wood, um, and yeah, we can start working on Tinker's things. Go and split this up. But yeah, you can you can craft out of it. You can uh, say, all right, I need a chest. And you can go, okay, I need a chest. And then bam, it automatically pulls it out and you have chests. That simple. Absolutely love that, uh, that you can do that. And it's really nice because this thing is nice and large for you. Let's go ahead and make some blank patterns. And of course, blank patterns, we have this like same style that we do every time there we go place this down part builder uh we need a chest which is going to store our well actually no we get these as a reward don't we um so don't make those we do however need a crafting table that can get a pattern on top of it and gets a tool station and then last but not least we do need a crafting table converted into a crafting station and for some reason, the crafting station is not completing. There it goes. It manually detected it. And we can claim this, and we get a couple of rewards. Awesome. Uh, now, I don't need this crafting table here, but we might use it later on. I'm going to arrange this a little bit differently. I need a tool station. Let's see. I probably should place this over here. Actually, we probably are going to use the crafting station, because I'm going to put these guys in, gr in the ground. Like so. Awesome. So, pattern chest should probably go in the middle. Um, the stencil table, let me just make sure which one's which. So, the stencil table needs to go on the left. It's going to make our stencils. Heart builder should go here. Crafting table here. Tool station here. And now we should have a multi block that we can kind of move between. Awesome. So, here's all of our Tinker stuff. Of course, we need to fill this with patterns. And the part chest, we can place this guy right here. It It's just going to hold some random parts if need be. Uh, it looks like it, and it, with it being there, it's still connected to everything. Awesome. And then we can kind of just throw all of our tools and stuff and tidbits in here that we don't have to worry about. Perfect. I do, however, need to probably light these corners up. I didn't think about that. It's going to get dark, and we're not going to have our corners lit up. And this could start to spawn in mobs. Okay, so with everything nice and clean, we should be able to make some tool parts. Of course, we need a pickaxe. We need a shovel. We're going to need an axe head. Um, all of which, because we're really going to make two tools, technically. Uh, we need a tool rod. A binding. And I think that's it. Well, we are going to need a sword as well. So let's go ahead and make a wide guard. And go ahead and make a large sword blade. Or, sorry, not a large sword blade, a regular sword blade. And I think that's it. And we take those, we can throw these over here in this pattern chest. 
you can just shift right click them in. We'll come over here to our part builder. This is where we're going to need cobble. Because I'm just going to make my tools out of cobblestone and wood. Let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, and for the most part, these will be built out of cobble and wood. The top pickaxe head will be that. We'll do stone shovel with a stone axe head. And we'll do a stone blade, right? That'll be pretty good. And the rest will probably be wood. You know, wooden, wooden rod. We need two of those. Uh, a binding and a wooden guard. I think. I think that's everything we need. We might... Let's go ahead and make the sword. Binding head. So there's a sword. Our pickaxe. And then this, I think, just needs a, a binding and a rod for the paxel. Yeah, we just need a rod. And make the paxel. Or the, not the paxel, the matlock. And we're good to go. Or the matlock, we're good to go. Look at that. Here's all of our basic tools that we would ever need. Awesome. Awesome. So let's go ahead and also make our kit, which is right here, sharpening kit, and we'll throw that in here, like that, and we'll just make this a stone sharpening kits. There we go. So now we can repair our tools on the fly. Awesome. So we have all the tools we need to to break things and do stuff like that and to, to break trees if we really want to, but I really need to make a mob farm so we can start killing mobs. Um, that is one of the next sections here. Simple mob farm. We also have water here. I'm almost assuming that, I mean, if I pull out ice, all right, two ice. Of course, we can convert this. We need somewhere to make an unlimited water source. Um, I'm not too sure exactly where to do that yet. Maybe we'll do it on the side somewhere. I mean, for right now, we can do it, but we, I mean, I don't, I can make a bucket, I guess. Right? Three of these will make a regular bucket. And I guess we could we could technically make water wherever we want. Let me make two buckets. That way we can just store the water. We will have unlimited. Water's just not in here. Right? We can't do buckets and stuff like that and pull it out. But we do have ice that is unlimited. And what you can do with the philosopher's stone, you can actually convert this. By right clicking or honestly if it's above a block you could just break the block of ice but that'll make it solid and it just stays in one place how handy awesome so we have that um let's go ahead and make another bucket that'll give us unlimited water source and we can just store those in here for now all right, so that is completed, and let's start working on a mob farm. Now, mob farms are kind of easy to make, um, and I kind of want to find a certain direction. Let's see, maybe we'll go north. We'll go north on this way. So, if I'm normally standing around here in the middle, per se, we need to make sure to travel quite a few blocks out. So, coal... Let me go ahead and grab a couple of you, and I will make some torches. So this is uh this is good for making tiny torches. I'll make some of you, and we'll also get some cobblestone, and we'll make it look fairly nice. Um, let's go with this cobble, or we could go with stone as well. It's all the same price, and I think stone is a much smoother, cooler looking texture. There we go. French chiseled stone might look good. Actually, let's go with embossed. Getting out to our mob farm, and then wood. We'll go with dark wood. And we'll go with this large style. I think that'll look really good. So what we need to do is go, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to go 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So right around here, 
is where we want the base of our mob farm to start. So I'm going to go ahead and torch this up. And it's actually not that far from our base. You know what? I think I've completely changed my mind on what I have planned to do. I think I'm going to go for a different type of mob spawner. One that is up in the air. Um, that is, a f I mean, it needs to be still about 24 blocks away. But if we consider this our base platform and say we are here, our mobs land here. Um, we could probably take a slab. Let's go ahead and break this real quick. We could probably put a slab here. That way we can hold crouch and we can still hit the mobs. Right? We can punch them. Or what we could do is we can raise this by two. Have this up one. Hmm, trying to think how I would want to go about doing this. Placing this here, or actually drop us down. We probably need to drop this down one. But eventually we can have an auto dropper, because I think having mobs drop here would be a good way of gathering EMC. Um, I need to go ahead and move this. It's like gunpowder. Gunpowder is a good source. Bone we know is a good source. Uh, we are going to run into some other problems, but... I think maybe having a large dropper up top would be a good choice, um, even though it would probably need to be a too wide. So that's where we're going to run into a little bit of an issue, is me figuring out how I want to channel mobs and make it look good. Because honestly, building a 3x3 three three up in the sky doesn't really work that well. Um, so coming up with a better idea is what I have to set here and work out. So here's what I have planned. Um, I went ahead and just kind of removed everything and made this flat. And I think I'm going to go with a single column. Now, I do need to, however, make something else. And that is vector plates. And it kind of talks about it right in here with the mob farm. It talks a little bit about vector plates. Or at least we're going to need to get into them. Uh, to do this, we're going to need sugar. And to do that, we need a squeezer. Um, we can also pull sugar cane out of uh, our, our equipment because we do have EMC. A squeezer is going to be iron, iron, iron. So, do we have enough iron? We should. We should. We need nine of it. Plus one. So ten. And everything else we should have. We just need this. There we go. And a squeezer. Good old-fashioned squeezer. Bam, and we're ready to go. Now, we do need a uh, pressure plate for this. So, we'll just use a wooden pressure plate. And this is kind of how a squeezer will function. Um, you have your squeezer, you have your pressure plate to reset, and we'll just get some sugar cane. I'll go with half that. And we place one in at a time for right now, and we just stomp on this. Or try to stomp on it. At least we're supposed to be able to stomp on it. <laughs> squeezer. Shows we can. Am I not stomping good enough? There it goes. I think it might be because of, I'm on a server. It takes a little bit longer, maybe? To register that I'm jumping? I have no idea. But this is supposed to be the way you convert this into sugar. Okay. Me jumping from a higher height seems to be working. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Normal height jump is supposed to work, though. But there we go. We got some sugar. So I'm going to continue to do this. I guess it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here and continue jumping until we have a little bit more sugar. I believe... Let's see. Um, slime. Yeah, we have slime. So pretty much we're just waiting for this. This is going to be a really efficient farm. 
is gonna help us with EMC a lot. So after getting all that done, I ended up also making some punji sticks. That's super simple uh, as well. And I think I wanna use that mostly to take care of some of the spiders. Now, what we should be able to do is just build a flat platform. Honestly, that's the best thing we could possibly do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and build it such like this around. I'm gonna be using some of this wood and we, I do need to kind of be reasonable with it. I'm going to take it to a, a certain extent. Um, I think we might go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Usually these go out to eight, but I think building a, a sort of a smaller one, five, six, and then maybe capping the outside might work. I do have a, a bit of materials, but I don't have that many vector plates, so... Hmm. I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six will be fine, and then this this right here will be our outer wall. So honestly, I need to break this down. And so yeah, our spawning platform is going to be on the wood, and our roof is going to be capped with stone. I'm only going to do one layer of this, because that should be plenty, since we are in a sky block. So here we are. I think this will kind of help keep spiders out. This will sort of kill the spiders. I don't so much want to kill the spiders myself, um, so hopefully they'll end up crawling up to the top here. And instead, of, some mobs may actually jump, so we might need to get some residual items down there. But this should hopefully kill spiders if they do spawn up here. Spiders tend to want to climb up the blocks, and so hopefully they'll they'll try to climb here. Um, otherwise, they'll just get, jam up our entire farm. And we could have prevented them, but I still want strings, so that's kind of something I have to. I have to give up. It's either, either string or not. So, this is three tall. It's because I want Endermen to spawn. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cap this off. And then I might have to do something really risky to jump down. <laughs> Since I didn't make a slime block or anything like that, I probably should have used a slime block. Um, but I'm probably just going to jump down into the void. Look at that. We already have mobs spawning down there. You can tell. Mobs spawn down there, but they're definitely going to spawn up here as well. Um... And these vector plates are going to be really nice for that. I just have to cap the rest of this off. I'll be back. All right, so here's the mob farm and a little bit of a little dropper. It's not the biggest and most efficient thing in the world because it's also not very big. Um, but I think I might expand it later on. But as you can see, I can kill these guys. And they are down health for the most part. And I can walk in and just pick up the items. And there we go. So our quest book requires us to kill a few different mobs. We got a zombie skeleton. We just haven't killed a creeper yet. We just kind of have to wait for a creeper to spawn. But it is a quick way of getting a little bit of EMC here and there, which is great. So we go ahead and fill that. And perfect. Um, so it's probably because we have so many people online <laughs> the and everybody else is working on mob farms right now that we don't actually have the fastest working mob farm in the world. Uh, but if you were playing this in single player, you'd totally, this would actually be a pretty significant mob farm and would be generating mobs at a pretty fast pace. Um, and we are about the, the distance we need to be. Um, this block right here is 24 block or 20, well, it's 22 blocks actually. So honestly, we might be able to build the platform up a little bit. I almost wonder if we stand two more blocks down, would that make a difference? I almost bet it would. I I bet it would. So if we take this, and we say we grab some more of it, and we drop this down a few blocks, and say our platform is here, that would put us at about 24 blocks here. I bet if we stood there, mobs would actually drop a bit faster. But that's also just a guess that may not be the case. Actually, let's drop that again. There we go. Perfect. And I could probably make a ladder. Good old-fashioned ladder. We can call it a day. Look at that. So... Yeah, I could probably stand here and you see the mobs. So what I actually need to do with this then, I actually need to raise it up um, on its base level a couple more blocks. Um, 
probably three blocks more. Not the tunnel. The tunnel still needs to be that height. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll just have it step down and do like steps. Yeah, they definitely spawn a lot more if we had it down two more. Okay, so I'm going to fix this. So after that little bit of endeavor, after I kind of raise it, you can kind of see right there what I've done. I've kind of just brought it up a couple blocks and kind of had to kind of place these in a different direction. But now it is working way better because I can now just punch these like that. We do have some witches in there, it seems like. And now we're even getting string, which is great. Okay, rid of this witch. There we go. Perfect. And we get dust, we get all kinds of goodies. Um, but all this, for the most part, can be EMC'd, which is great because that is just added EMC bonus to pretty much everything else. Besides arrows, which I mean, having those are really nice. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but now we completed this. There we go. And we've also completed this as well. So we've kind of moved along. And then right here we have its trap. The player trap. Just a punji stick that doesn't da uh, that does damage to mobs, but also has them drop experience. So this would actually be a really cool thing to use. Um, what's it take to make a player trap? So it takes a head and two stone. So that'd be kind of nice to place there. So let's see. Stone and a head. And we can kind of make this thing automated for the most part. So this, two pieces of stone, right? And a player trap. And I'm sure I have to kill all these guys first. There we go. And we'll see. We'll see how this works. Look at that. It kills them instantly. And it's going to build up their experience a little bit. Even though I still need to get away... Uh, figure out a better way of doing this. I need to collect not just experience, but I definitely need to collect some other things. So that's going to be great. That keeps us and saves us time. We don't have to sit there and worry about them too much. I will, however, before I log off, make sure I remove that. Because you don't want that just being on here spamming servers. That would not be good. Dumping items all into the world. So, with the mob farm out of the way, player trap completed, we pretty much have our mob stuff going. Um, which means we will pretty much have a bit of exper uh, like EMC going. I think for today, we've done quite a bit. Like having this mob farm done, getting things going, getting ourselves... I think next episode we're going to build up our island a little bit. And make things look a lot nicer. This right here can probably disappear. We don't need this down here anymore. As mobs are dropping. Um, mobs, of course, if I'm standing in on this level, they definitely drop a lot faster. But that's due to that, uh, that, that 24 mob rule. You can see just me standing there for a quick second. They just spawn like crazy. So, Which actually works out. Because I would, I'd, I'd prefer to be standing near this. So all these items don't just bunch up like crazy. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be actually I need to get down here, don't I? Oh well, uh, that can <laughs> that can stay for right now, I guess. Um, so I think what we can do next episode, we're gonna extend our base and make this look a lot nicer. Uh, but for now, this is actually really nice, really good mob farm, and it's like almost automatic for us, which is really really cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you didn't, just I guess give it a thumbs down if you did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend doing so. Also, we have a Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, I highly recommend doing so as well. We have a beautiful Discord community there. We are almost 7,000 strong as of the making of this video. Um, also, check out my Twitch. I do live stream over there and I have a lot of fun. And I really do appreciate when you guys hop on there and have a good chat. So, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,